Thank you for tuning in to Terry Sue Videos. On today's video, I'm going to talk about the late great rapper MC Trouble. MC Trouble was a popular rapper in the late 80s, early 90s. She was born in Los Angeles on July 30th, 1970. And she was a conscious rapper. She rapped about a lot of conscious issues in the black community. Queen Latifah idolized her. She came out before Queen Latifah came out. And Queen Latifah idolized her style of rap. And this is why when you listen to Queen Latifah's music, her music sounds similar to MC Trouble's music. But she passed away at a young age. She battled epilepsy. She battled a brain tumor. And these are the contributive factors in her death. When she passed away, a lot of rappers were, were very heartbroken. A lot of musicians were heartbroken. Boys to Men did a tribute song to her called, It's So Hard to Say Goodbye. Now, she first broke into show business when she was 17 years old. And she was in this group called ADS. And after a year or so, this they ended up breaking up and she ended up going solo. Her first hit record came in 1990 when she recorded the song, I Want to Make You Mine. She recorded this song with the Good Girls. And the Good Girls were a popular R&B group back then. And this song went to number one on the rap charts. And this was the song that gave her international recognition. And this was her first TV performance on Debbie Allen's dance show. Later on in 1990, she releases the song, Gotta Get a Grip. And her management didn't want her to make this song because it was very conscious. She raps about racism. And her management didn't want her rapping about this because they thought it would hurt her career. But instead, it actually made her a pioneer in conscious rap. Telling you trouble. I don't care. This video could be bad for your image. I don't care. What do you mean you don't care? I'm your manager. Wait, I don't care. We're doing a video. We'll see about we that. We are doing a we video. We will see Point about that. Blank. Yeah. Trouble on a different tip. Thrown out a lecture. I want it from my kind. So this is structure to teach. Coming from one kind to down. To crush the stereotypes that if you're brown, you're down. The Constitution wasn't written for me. To check your history. We're still in slavery. After the success of Gotta Get a Grip, she started having health problems. In 1991, she was diagnosed with a brain tumor. And brain tumors are very hard to treat. And she also battled epilepsy, which gave her seizures. She took medication every day to battle her seizures. And along with the seizures and the brain tumor, is what caused her death. She passed away on June 4th, 1991. She was only 21 years old. It's always sad to see a young person lose their life at such a young age, especially a young person that's so talented. This woman had her whole life ahead of her and she was just entering her prime. I just think she should be remembered more because she's one of the pioneers in female rap. She's one of the first female rappers to sign a major record label. But unfortunately, today's female rap has gone downhill. Most female rappers today only rap about stripping and hoeing. And this is why Jermaine Dupri came out and called them stripper rappers. A lot of these female rappers got offended when Jermaine Dupri called them stripper rappers. Well, that's exactly what they are. Most female rappers do nothing but rap about stri stripping and hoeing. What I respected about the 1990s female rappers and the 80s female rappers is they rapped about more than that. They rapped about real issues. Now I understand that sex sells and I understand these women are just trying to get paid, but I think 
you should have some integrity for yourself. You should have some respect for yourself. And there's nothing wrong with being sexy. But when it gets to the point where you're rapping about the same thing in every damn song, you're rapping about stripping and hoeing in every song, it kind of gets ridiculous. And this is how ridiculous Cardi B's songs are and Megan Thee Stallion's songs are. If you want to listen to some real hip hop, listen to MC Trouble. Listen to MC Light. Listen to Queen Latifah. That's what real hip hop is. So my advice to the younger people out there, if you want to listen to some real true hip hop, go listen to some MC Trouble. Some of her songs are on YouTube. You can go browse YouTube and listen to all her music. A lot of people have different opinions about this topic. Leave a comment, rate and subscribe.